So today for our opening keynote, we have the pleasure of having Clara Foods. So please help me welcome Joel Krebs, Vice President of Discovery and Research, that will share his perspective on how company culture is setting the stage for the new food science workforce in the way that the future of food is being shaped. Joe, please uh, take it from here. Thank you for taking the time. Great. Thank you, Anna. Let me launch my presentation. All right, uh, I'd like to start off by uh, introducing myself. I'm Joel Kreps, Vice President of Discovery and Research at Clara Foods. And I'd like to thank the organizers at ProteinX for providing this opportunity for me to talk to all of you about the amazing things that are going on at Clara Foods uh, right now. As some of you may know, Clara Foods is a synthetic biology food technology company where we are using precision fermentation to make animal proteins in the absence of any animals to deliver the real proteins that the consumer and the food industry uh, need and want uh, using, again, precision fermentation in the absence of any animals. And uh, given the topic of today, today's presentation and, and uh, uh, panel focusing on culture, people, teams, and, and how to achieve these amazing uh, technological breakthroughs. I've put together several slides to give you more of a perspective on who we are at Clara Foods, not so much on what we are doing. And so as I mentioned, Clara Foods is a food technology company. We were founded back in 2015 by Arturo Elizondo and others. Uh, Arturo is, is our CEO. And, and what I have projected here are the various senior leaders at the company uh, with our pictures and titles, et cetera. And on the right-hand side are the various companies where we all worked before we came to Clara Foods. And, and as a way of introduction, I've been at Clara Foods since early 2016, uh, so over five and a half years now. When I joined the company, there were six other people. We're now more than 60 people. So again, the, the People shown here are simply the, the senior leaders of the company. On the right-hand side, the point I want to convey is, given where we've all come from, represents a broad spectrum of a variety of technology companies and, and approaches, going from the classics such as Google or Apple uh, to uh, the other end of the spectrum, if you will, in the pharmaceutical business with Pfizer and people from Genentech and other places like that. Of course, we also have quite a few people from the food industry itself uh, with employee, employees formerly at places like Nestle, Impossible, Plenty, uh, et cetera. And then there's people like myself who come out of the industrial biotech se sector, uh, where previously to Clara Foods, I was working in biofuels, uh, where I was working at BP Biofuels. Again, the point here is what we found at Clara is it takes a, a broad spectrum of skill sets and perspectives uh, to deliver new to the world technologies that uh, uh, we are commercializing and will be commercializing in, in the near future. And key points there is then at Clara, it's clear to us that the people are our most important resource. Yes, we invest money in things like uh, hardware, such as robotics platforms or fermentation tanks for the precision work or various food science uh, equipment, but it's really the people driving those, using those tools that are creating the value for Clara. And so from that standpoint, for us, finding the right people is critical for us being able to deliver this new to the world technology that we are, have launched and will continue to launch. And so as part of that uh, focus on people as our best resource, we've put time and effort into defining what we consider our core values. And a reason for this then is it makes it possible for us to then, when we go out and uh, recruit, excuse me, when we go out to recruit, we're actively looking for people that share these same values. And so from us, what we've identified as, as key things that we want or we have at Clara and we want in 
our, our new hires. We're looking for people who are passionate. Uh, again, uh, there are a variety of things people can be doing. We want people who are passionate about uh, food science, about the planet, about sustainability. Because uh, what we have learned and, and what I've seen at, at previous companies when delivering new to world technology, where there, there aren't answers that we can look up in the back of a book somewhere. It's critical to have people who are passionate because that, that passion is what will drive uh, people through to, to be successful in developing these new things. We also look for people who are resourceful, particularly through the pandemic. One of the things that we focused on is the concept of working smarter, not harder. And so again, the idea here is we're looking for people that, that know how to get the job done, but know how to do it in ways that isn't just simply brute force doing things the, the biggest or the, the hardest, but being smart so that when we do things, we, we use uh, from a startup standpoint as little resources possible. Obviously, we're also looking for people who are dedicated, meaning uh, we want people that understand that, that they need to put time and effort in to solve problems, to get things completed, not just simply they're coming into work to, to spend a few hours in the workplace. And then an important feature that we have at Clara, from my perspective in particular, is we look for humility. And by that, I mean, we're looking for people that, that see Clara Foods first and themselves second in terms of the kind of ego investment. So the idea here is that not so much we, we don't want people who are, are driven or, or ambitious, but rather we want them to focus on the company first, understanding that through Clara's success, we each will then have a share in that success. And again, the point here is finding people who are able to be team players. I've seen time and time again, the power of the team, the power of a diverse um, integrated team is critical to again, delivering new to the world technologies. And of course, all of this ties into uh, other themes that we'll discuss today. Uh, and from our, from Clara's perspective, a vision that we then share again during our recruiting process and with employees on site is in this case, looking at the world and saying, we see right now that the way uh, animal protein production is happening through factory farming is, is simply unsustainable and is there's wide consensus that this type of agriculture is clearly leading to major issues across the planet, such as the pandemic we're in right now, uh, as well as a variety of other uh, items shown here that I think are, we're all familiar with. And the point here then is that for Clara Foods, our big hair, hairy audacious goal, as some of you may know that phrase, is, is to contribute through the success of us delivering the proteins that people in the food industry want will eventually lead to shutting down of the last factory farms on earth. Key points here is that, again, what we see is our, from our vision perspective is that this type of uh, the current systems of our animal agriculture are simply not sustainable. They use too much fresh water, too much land. And that's simply to try to feed the current demand. And what's clear is that at, as the planet uh, moves forward, demand will only increase for animal protein. So from a practical standpoint, we can wrap this up and say, from a Clara Foods perspective, our mission then is to develop uh, this animal-free protein production system, partly to then protect animals from uh, cruel and inhumane treatment, such as factory farms are uh, inflicting on animals now but then also through that success, protecting people. And by protecting people and animals and coming up with sustainable forms of uh, animal, uh, animal protein production, we're then able to protect the planet. And all these things combined together is the mission that, that drives Clara Foods. And then as to wrap up, I'd just like to emphasize again uh, at Clara Foods, uh, we have a variety of, of uh, team members and perspectives, and it is that, that diversity uh, across many different fields that is critical for us delivering new to the world technologies. As I mentioned, I've, been, I've participated in this sort of work in the past, 
And what I have learned time and time again is that finding solutions where in developing new to the world technologies will require a, a diverse team, will require being able to hear, as some people say, the quietest voice in the room. And from my perspective at Clara Foods, uh, we work hard in recruiting the right people because we know having the right people means we will have the right team. Having the right team means we will then be able to deliver on these amazing uh, applications, producing animal proteins that the, the people, the consumer, as well as the food industry wants. Because it's when we deliver those key proteins, those key products that will lead to success for Clara. And as some may have heard in the past, the thing that we see at Clara is that we aim to do good, but we also aim to do well, meaning that we see that by being successful in terms of delivering these products, that success again will, will flow back to Clara Foods and to the various employees at Clara Foods. And so at this point, I'd like to thank you for your time and end my presentation. Thank you, Joel. How, how great it is to understand a little more about your culture, about your vision, and why you are doing what you're doing, and how having the, the right team is the key for that. So thank you for taking the time. Thank you for being here with us today. So now for our next session, you're going to have our panel discussion. Let's go to our next, to next session to meet all of them.